an art student at Slade School, and the teacher of theatre design was this guy called Vladimir Polunin, who had uh, worked for Diaghilev. Something rubbed off him, I mean, and is the fact that he'd worked with Picasso, worked on these sets, and I think I've developed, so without realizing it, a sort of sense of, of, of theater. Is that also where you first became interested in Picasso? I'd always been interested. I mean, because from the age of about 12, and I bought every book I thought good. I didn't meet Picasso until I was 21. Over the years, I mean, we became very close, and I, I wrote my biography. And then I needed somewhere else to work, and so I built this, this building, and it's based on the um, Schinkel Pavilion in Berlin. And the garden around it, I think, is very, very stunning because it's, it's not entirely like most gardens you see in America and that it's, it's sort of uh, seemingly very spontaneous. Yeah, I mean, I didn't work to an architectural plan. It just grew and I add things or take things, but there's absolutely no sort of decorative um, vision Involved. It's I just it's a reflection of myself and my taste sometimes for hideous things. I, I think it's important to have a few really hideous things. Otherwise, it looks like too much ghastly good taste. In a sense, I think it matches your interiors very well in that both the garden and the inside of your houses show a, a great sort of dramatic flair. That's just me. I mean, it's my accumulated mess, which I've, over the years, things I've brought up. Two of the most important things I think I have are in the library, and they're these two hugely tall columns from Rome by Piranesi. And they give great height to the space. The pictures you have, there are those two rather huge uh, paintings in the, in the oh, guest yes. house. The, the big Dutch landscapes, 18th century landscapes. They're rather handsome. I've never found out who, who painted them. I mean, they, they furnished the room, I mm. think. I loathe the decorator look, you know. I think that, uh, that you've got to express yourself. I mean, where, however, whatever form they take should reflect what one's own tastes. I don't know, I suppose one leaves one's stamp on one's surroundings, for better or worse. 